so grammy weekend is upon us so on the 26th of january friday 2024 the afro zone spray grammy nomination celebration took place in lagos nigeria guys this event has breeded lots of controversies top of which is the fact that ira star was accused of disrespecting king sonny adeo according to them she should have prostrated that she shouldn't have genuflated so many oh my god i felt so bad for her she eventually apologized and said she had cameras lights flashing on her she was tensed and so she she apologized that she didn't know when that happened and people also said she snubbed bonaboy's mother guys nigerians are something else so the video went viral there were lots of tweets from people on social media saying that Arasta should learn from her elders that Whiskey has been seen prostrating to King Sonia Day on stage and that um, um, Arasta should know better, that she should learn a thing from Whiskey, like lots of talk. And of course, she came out to tender an apology and guess what became the issue again? <laughs> Guys, you won't believe it. Let's see the apology Arasta tendered. So here's the apology she tendered. I am so sorry. I had just walked in and all the lights and nerves didn't let me see. But I came back around to greet everyone properly. I have never been that girl to be disrespectful. I have a proper Yoruba girl and the video didn't start from didn't start until after I had greeted Bonas mom. I am so sorry to the legend, Uncle and King Sonny Adi. Guys, this one caused another problem. They were like, why is she calling him uncle? He should have been daddy and mommy. I need people to realize that your culture isn't binding on everyone. Well, maybe because Ira is a Yoruba girl. Because the whole talk was just a whole lot. Saying she snubbed King Sonia Day. She snubbed King, uh, Bonas mom. And I recall telling someone, what if she had greeted Bonas mom earlier? And guys, my guess was right. Because take a look at this video. This is Ira Star saying hello to Bonas mom. So guys, what do we say about this? The good thing is that Ira Star is a Yoruba girl. So now them, they make them settle because for me, the outrage wasn't necessary. It looks like they had her in mind for the longest time. Well, moving on from that, we have White Money, Uti, Groovy and Shows the West who we are all at the event organized to celebrate you know, lots of legends, people who have been nominated, especially King Sonia Day, who happens to be the first Nigerian to ever get nominated for the Grammy. So this felt like a proper homecoming. I don't think he was nominated this time. This is more like an award given just to celebrate him. It was a beautiful event to Baba. We had lots of legends to Baba was present, named them. And I'm proud and so here we have the arrival of the legend king sonny ade i don't know who the lady beside him is looks like she is one of the organizers this man is aging gracefully i think he should be in his 70s or 80s boy and he looks really young and he still performs so yes so people like chief mike adenuga loves him and invites him to like 90 percent of his family events king sonia day was one of the first ever glow ambassadors yes i know everybody's here to party i would like to invite the golden mercury of africa king sonia day to receive his award I love Bonaboy's mom a little too much. She is a ball of positive energy. For those of you who do not know, or rather who do not know, that this woman you are seeing here is a Yoruba woman. Her name is Bosse, married to a Rivers man. I guess that's why Bona is more Yoruba than he is Rivers. But we really need this man to cut soap for us because boy, he is agile like he is agile you would think he is in his 50s his hair permanently dyed black oh man, nobody want old again ah ah see leg walk mama bona for president <laughs> Thank you. 
We say we say a few words, sir. Thank you. Please. Please, Daddy. <laughs> It was a night to celebrate legends. We have Kelechi Amadi Obi, Oga Polo, Tubaba. Guys, I'm such a huge fan of Tubaba. I feel like Tubaba's marital woes and his, um, will I say, personal life kind of affected his brand because Tubaba is one person that even when I hear the songs he sang in the middle 2000s I still want to dance I still want to jiggle my body because trust me this guy is so talented and his songs are evergreen yes his songs are actually evergreen so one love to everybody thank you for your support man I make a happy so keep on supporting the music. You're gonna live, you're gonna keep on supporting your artists. Uh, you're gonna keep on supporting your artists. I know. Thank you so much. Shout out to the sun. Didn't realize on Mashola is still in Nigeria. Dude is having the time of his life. Guys, I beg this guy with carry dread, with the like with Nanunu, with the they call this type of dreads. But I love it. I love this type of dreads. So you can see white money somewhere. What's he touching? Hmm, just one. So we have white money. Who else can you cite? I'm sure white money, one day he will receive his own Grammy. After all, people that have been receiving do not have. 20 heads we have the handsome denola gray i thought this guy relocated or maybe he is visiting because for the longest time he i was seeing you know clips of him in london different parts of the world and i thought he actually jabbed like the average celeb so here we have the gorgeous Arasta. Arasta is such a beautiful lady. I think her mom is Kutunu. I don't think her mom is Yoruba. But looks like her dad is Yoruba. Or maybe say her mom is the Yoruba one. But I know she has a link with Kutunu or Bini Republic. One of these neighboring African countries. She is so beautiful and super talented. I hope she doesn't get, allow what people said on social media get to her she is amazing and she dresses like her age she is young so listen guys one thing big brother niger has taught me over the years is the fact that never rule out any friendship look at white money chilling happy with sauti guys uti dealt with this guy during his time oh, in the big that's during uh, the level up season Sorry, is it level up? Shiny eye, rather. Hey, Uti wasn't happy with white money. He felt white money was being cunning because he was supporting Pere. But look at today. Pere and Uti have become enemies while Uti and white money are chilling and having a great time. That's why this big brother Niger these days, eh, I know they carry anybody matter for her, do. You see the people, you're oh, this person is the best. I like this person because he or she likes XYZ. Before you know it, Tables don't turn though. Look at white money and Uti. Who would have thought? But then Uti does not have an iota of shame. Because he does a whole lot of things during the show. Like he was so unkind to Lacon. Although I haven't seen them together. But for him to be so comfortable with white money, I mean, does he think these people don't see this? Well, at the end of the day, these housemates need Uti more than Uti needs them. Uti is doing well for himself he's well established of course he cannot call like he is who he says he is the first winner of big brother or african all-stars the first and last edition so of course he's a legend and i feel that's why some of these housemates overlook his flaws and just stick with him regardless of what he throws at them so guys that's all about the pre grammy party recall that the grammy is going down very soon how excited are you how ready are you it's going down next weekend guys it's about to be lit who are you rooting for i am definitely rooting for the video i have a bunch of stash of how will i say tweets where people are like will the video ever get grammy nomination i beg forget the video we ain't want to see grammy nomination well he has been nominated but then let's pray and hope he wins at least one i think he was nominated in like three categories and i am hopeful that he will win at least one award and my voice is going to be really loud 
Unfortunately, Choma won't be attending because she just returned to Nigeria with her twin babies. So guys, tell me, did you enjoy this video, your favorite parts, and as usual, let's just gist in the comment section.